Hello and welcome to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video, we will learn how to calculate the design and the allowable strength of a steel column using the AISC's equation. And we will check the advocacy of the column to support the given loads. The question is given and it states that an HSS 8 cross 8 cross 1 by 2 A500 grade B steel having yield strength of 42 KSI is used to support a dead load of 175 kips and a live load of 100 kips. The column has a total length of 15 feet. Determine both the design strength for LRFT and the allowable strength for ASD. Check whether the column will support the loads. First from AISC steel construction manual, the properties of HSS 8 cross 8 cross 1 by 2 are Cross-sectional area is equal to 13.5 inch square and the least radius of gyration is equal to 3.04 inch. Now the effective length of the column is given as K times L. Since the column is fixed at both the ends, so the value of K will be 0 0.65 and the total length is given as 15 feet. So the value of effective length would be 9.75 feet. Slender's ratio is given as effective length divided by least radius of gyration that is 9.75 times 12 divided by 3.04 which is equal to 38.49 which is less than the upper limit that is the 200. So we can proceed with the design. Now for ASTM A500 grade B steel, modulus of elasticity is given as 29,000 KSI and the yield stress is equal to 42 KSI. Euler's stress is given as pi square times E divided by the square of the slender ratio. Putting values of E and the slender ratio, we get the value of Euler's stress equal to 193.2 KSI. Now to calculate the value of critical stress, we have to first check the value of 4.71 times the square root of E divided by Fy, which is equal to 4.71 times square root of 29,000 divided by 42, which is equal to 123.76, which is greater than the value of slender's ratio. So the critical stress is given by AISC's equation E32 as FCR is equal to 0 0.658 raised power Fy divided by Fe times Fy. Putting values of Fy and Fe, we get the value of critical stress equal to 38.35 KSI. Now the nominal strength of column is given as Pn is equal to critical stress times the gross sectional area that is 38.35 times 13.5 which is equal to 517.73 kips. So this is the nominal strength of the column. For LRFT the design strength for LRFT is given as resistance factor times the nominal strength that is 0 0.9 times the 517.73 which is equal to 465.96 kips. Ultimate load of column is given as that is the 1.2 times the dead load plus 1.6 times the live load which is equal to 1.2 times 175 plus 1.6 times the 100 which is equal to 370 kips. We can see that the design strength for LRFT is greater than the ultimate load so column will support the load that is column is advocate to support the given loads. For the ASD allowable strength for ASD is given as nominal strength divided by the safety factor which is equal to 517.73 divided by 1.67 which is equal to 310.02 kips. Allowable load is given as PA is equal to dead load plus live load which is equal to 175 plus 100 that is the 275 kips. We can see that the allowable strength is greater than the 
allowable load so column is advocate to support the load so this gives us the procedure how can we calculate the design as well as the allowable strength of a steel column and check its advocacy against the game loads hope you guys like the video and if you find this video helpful please subscribe to my channel and share this video thanks for watching and see you in the next video